Yeah, I just wanted to give you a bit of a map update. Um, so this one is the uh, the eighty percent scale one, and I decided to keep. Um, I know I was saying that I just was going to um, put in the six five Serbia map, but it's just because there's so many other little things going on. Um, I was like, okay, I need to. Um, it it doesn't seem too complicated. Like what I'm saying is, it, it's not too bad for me. Uh, as long as I didn't add the Italian front, I think. Um, yeah, I just wanted to uh, get some things into context. And yet again, uh, I'm not going to put in too... Like, I'm still going to do things incrementally. Um, so nothing's going to happen right now. All I'm doing is... Uh, oh my gosh, I, I couldn't believe it. And that's another thing about these uh, things. So these are not... I wouldn't call rejects uh, for uh, some of my Alberto markers. Uh, these are my original cavalry um alberta markers i was going to do for the deluxe map and stuff um but i always keep them just in case and now i'm like okay great i can uh, i'm putting in the front uh the serbian front here uh, at the beginning of november according to uh Dervel Krieg. and look at this this is totally cool i'm like thank you um hold on i'll try to go slow i know i was um someone mentioned to me like stop trying to get me cc uh seasick but as you can see here, holy smokes, uh, there's the November 1914 scenario setup instructions. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just um, marking off. Uh, I've got a, not that too many to go. But that'll give me a good idea. Here, I'll try to go slow. Um, hopefully, a good idea. It just freaks me out that now I'll be like going in my real mini game and I've got um, coinciding on like a, in a, on another map. I can kind of just zip on over and go, oh my God, this is what's happening historically, you know, according to the Devout Grieg setup. Uh, holy F, this is just, oh my God. It's like, it's like, you know what I mean? Like it just in, in a tiny way it is happening. Um, but yet again, I'm telling you, man, what I'm going to do with the grand campaign rules, at least, uh, the way I'm looking at them right now is I'm going to go over the rules in detail and then try to distill, uh, the essence or what, uh, what was the purpose and, and so on and so forth and try to figure out a way of, um, making it manageable. Uh, like I said, for my Eastern front thing, it's going to be very always deep, like into that crazy detail, no problem. But this other stuff, which I just want it to feed into the narrative. Remember, game player narrative are first. Uh, all this, um, you know, getting into my OCD detail, lovely bits. Um, that's um, that's on a side bit. Uh, that's always going and always um, going to be superseded, basically. Um, anyways, on this one, so I'm also going to yet again. So this will be the live stream. I think I mentioned that. So this this map will be for the live stream um, fronts, and that yet again I'll po I'll pop this pop this in incrementally. Hopefully I can get a little bit done this week. Um, and this map I'm still leaving up. This is the old pea soup map for Serbia, which I never ended up using. But this I'm just gonna I'm gonna keep these guys on here, and you know whenever I just want to have like do something different with my mind, I can. Uh, Pop on over here and, uh, like I said, try to figure out some kind of like mini chess thing or whatever, uh, Der Velkrieg style. I don't know if it's possible, but, you know, just fiddle around and have some fun. And then I've been slacking off a little bit with this. I was like, holy smokes, man, you better hurry up. I was thinking, um, like I said, I really have to study the rail lines uh, here for uh, these guys. I'm going to also have to do it for the Russians. That's for flipping sure. Of course, there's not as many, so it's going to be a heck of a lot easier. But um, I'm like, I'm at the point now, I'm thinking, holy cow, like you're uh, finishing up the turn for the Germans for 01 November, and I'm going to ro be rolling for uh, initiative. And I'm like, um, if the Germans win the initiative on 02 November, there's like four cavalry divisions coming in as re reinforcements. Remember, everybody's coming in from here. Um and so on and so forth. I was like, oh, oh. Um, I'm almost in a weird way. I'm like, I hope the Russians win the uh, initiative. Yeah, kind of, I, oh, geez, I imagine that a double hammer blow. I mean, the Germans are, I mean, the Russians are already on 
like just got knocked against the ropes or whatever they were called it. And, you know, if the Germans win the initiative, uh, the central powers, I should say, jeepers jumping, shouldn't do that. Jeez, man. Um, if the central powers win the initiative, uh, that's like, you know, another punch, I guess, I guess against somebody who's, yeah, like I said, that happened once with, uh, me and Rob with the, uh, the game upstairs and, uh, Rob, thank God didn't notice. Um, he made a wonder move and, um, crushed a bunch of my troops. And, um, the next turn I was like in stun mode. I was, and I made stupid moves. I, I was just like, you know, auto moves or whatever. And he didn't clue in clue in. Thank God. <laughs> I ended up winning that game, man. That was so weird. Okay. Anyways, that's it. Hope you're having a great time.